Hey guys, we're back here at our two meg generators. Several folks in the uh, comments wanted a startup video. So we're going to get you a startup video. This will be a cold start of a 3516 two meg cat. And then today we're going to demonstrate paralleling. I'd hope to demonstrate the ethernet paralleling, but this particular unit doesn't have the right software in it and we're in the process of getting the software. If we get the software before these units get deployed, you know, we're running in pretty close to hurricane season. Uh, we'll do a, a ethernet uh, paralleling. But right now we're going to use the sync cable that goes between the CAT 4.4 control panel to the other one. So we're going to crank this guy up. We're going to let this be our check one. So we're going to do it manually. So we'll get this one running. We'll go over and crank the other one up. We'll engage the breaker on it. And then we'll come back and parallel this one to that one uh, manually by using the check function on the uh, paralleling switch. So we'll go ahead and crank this unit right now. All right, guys, so what we've done is pretty loud out here. We've got an industrial application and we've got this, so y'all don't bust us in the comments for the audio. But we've got both generators running, and what we've done is we've, we're syncing them together or we're paralleling them. So what we've done is we've cranked both units, and now the right unit, we've closed the main breaker bus in, and we have the two generators tied together going to the load that represents the building. So now we've got this one in manual, we've closed the breaker so the bus between the two generators is energized. And now we've got this one on the paralleling mode set to check. And we're gonna go in and when the parallel, when the two generators sync up, we're gonna parallel them together and have a effective four megs of load. And then we'll go in on the load bank and demonstrate that we've got it working. So we got a 650 kW load bank. Obviously, if we had four megawatts of power, which these cables are capable of producing four megawatts, four million watts of power, this load bank can only accept 650,000. So that's why we only have two sets of parallel cables hooked up. And then just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna check the rotation here on the fan. We just added 650 kW load to both units. So each unit only gets about 300 kW. The two generators are working themselves out so they provide half the amperage roughly. All right guys, so that video was because you guys asked us for it. People wanted to see the engine start up, they wanted to see a cold start, and then they wanted to see the paralleling process. Like I said, we're in the process of getting the software so that we can do an ethernet parallel. But you know, what you saw us do is we cranked one generator, we made it manual, then we crank the other generator and we put it into check. Then we close the bus on the manual generator, which energized the bus for the connections between the two generators. And then we have a display in there where we could see the frequency leading the other generator. And when it got in the range, I was able to reach up and close the breaker. So that's what we did. It's pretty cool. We appreciate you guys watching. Man, we really love the comments and the feedback we get from these videos. You guys are so insightful. From the first video, we've heard of people all over the world that have four and five, six, eight of these at one location. They're telling us about at coal plants and at different yards and data centers and all kinds of great information. It's really interesting. If you're not reading the comments, we encourage you to read the comments. As always, we'd like for you to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Or another thing that's great to do is to pick up one of our videos and send it to a friend, and we appreciate you watching.